you're at from your own voice, would you ask, ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you this morning? Acknowledge your willingness to to hear what he says to you today. Express to him your, your desire to be changed today. And now ask him what he, what he would want to change today. In your heart, in your, in your thinking, in your attitude, in your mind or your will or emotions today. What would he want to change to look more like Jesus? Acknowledge the the gifts of the Holy Spirit when we when we pray, Lord, speak to us. When we pray, Lord, let us hear you. The New Testament outlines various spiritual gifts that the Lord gives to the church. And of those gifts, one of those are the gift of tongues. In a corporate setting such as this, then there Paul teaches us there's to be the, the gift of interpretation and Teresa has been obedient to the Lord this morning to let the Holy Spirit speak to her or through her with the gift of tongue and then giving her that interpretation. Now, I realize most of you did not hear what the interpretation was. So at the best of my ability, I will summarize that the Lord would say to some of us this morning that what you are experiencing is a season. It is a season that will pass the word was that you will you will see yourself running as a child with joy and 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 with uh, hilarity and peace and Teresa if I get off base here wave your hand or something but I think that's kind of the the essence of the message the interpretation was uh, that it's a season of heaviness but there will be a season coming of your breakthrough, let's just put it that way, where there will be the freedom to experience the joy of the Lord and the, the joy of his salvation that he's given you and the, the strength that the Lord uh, has given to you. And so I, I would say then the Holy Spirit is speaking that to, to someone or, or probably more than one, and you receive that this morning as a word of God to you. It's a word that's lines up with with scripture we understand that there are seasons of every part of our life and jesus said we would go through seasons where there would be trial and tribulation but he said take heart i have overcome i have overcome you will and can as well overcome do you believe that this morning that the season of overcoming comes so let's give him some praise right now father we thank you this morning Whatever the seasons are for our lives, you always bring us through. You are the Lord, our shepherd. And whatever valley we walk through at any season of time, you are the God who leads us through. You are the God who protects us. You are the God who provides in each season. 
You are the God who guides us and moves us through the anointing of your spirit placed within us. Today, Father, we thank you. We can trust you in every season of life. Amen and amen. Just, we ask the Holy Spirit to speak. Is there a... Uh... testimony of two to three witnesses that he is with you you will persevere the truth of Christ on the cross and the work of your redemption has been finished therefore every promise of God is yes and amen every assurance of Christ in you, victorious, is yours today. And he assures you that he has never left you and he has not forsaken you. Let your heart, friend, be encouraged this morning. Understand the Holy Spirit is, has taken the opportunity twice in this few moments to encourage your soul. Be encouraged today and know with absolute certainty whatever it is you feel was crushing you or going to crush you, it just ain't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. God wants you to stand in that today. You will not be destroyed. You will not be crushed in this overwhelming moment season that you find yourself but you will find joy strength hope and courage in the Lord Father we thank you this morning for your your loving care for your children for those who have been washed in the blood and redeemed by Christ, in Christ. Father, we thank you for the assurance that you are with all of us in every season. Forgive us where we fear. Forgive us where we doubt. Restore us the confidence, courage, and boldness in the anointing of your Spirit, Lord. And we thank you today that we are more than conquerors. Through Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.